Hi everyone, Mandy Lee here. I am here at the Hershey RV Show. Now after a long hiatus of production, I am thrilled to present to you the first prototype of the Cirrus 920 truck camper. This new and improved camper, if that is even possible, is bigger and better and filled with so many features. Let me quit wasting your time and let's get to it. All right, so let's take a look at the outside of this camper. Now, the first thing you might notice is that New Camp has stayed true to its roots by offering a fully hard-sided camper with no slide outs. This is a four season camper. You might also notice it's a little bit bigger. In fact, it is 10 inches wider than its predecessor, the first 920, and it is made for an eight foot bed. The next thing you might notice is this beautiful custom designed rear bumper with storage. Now throughout this video, you're gonna find there is just tons of storage. And one of my favorite places is here on the bumper in these two really large compartments. Additionally, uh, behind this step right here is a drawer that pulls out with a long extra drawer for storage. Now when this is on your truck, there's also going to be some fold down steps to help get back up into that camper. Coming around the side, we have our standard electric jacks, which are controlled by a remote control. And then finally down in this compartment, you will see there are two controls for awnings along with a solar port. So there are two awnings on this camper. One of them is on the long side and then one of the awnings is along the back. All right, as we move back, you can see there are two outlets conveniently located on the outside of the camper here. And as we move around to the front, Inside of the battery compartment, you will find three large Battleborn lithium batteries. These total up to 810 amp hours, and they are powered by 930 watts of solar on the roof. And we'll get to that a little bit later. Coming on around to the passenger side, the next thing we'll find is the smart plug, which is the 30 amp plug to power your camper if you've got shore power. Next, we have a dedicated compartment specifically for an LP tank. So it's got a strap and everything so you don't have to worry about where that's gonna go. Now right underneath the propane compartment is a propane quick connect. So if you had any equipment that ran off of propane, it would be a really easy place to just plug it in and start using it. Next up, we have this lovely storage compartment, which is specifically designed to hold a Honda 3200 generator. If you don't have a generator, it's just lovely storage. And then beneath that, in this other door, we have the access to the Nautilus system. And this is everything that's gonna control your water. So it's how you'll dump your black tank, your gray tank, how you'll winterize, fill it. Everything's just very easy to use. And there's a handy light in there for you as well, in case it's dark out. So at the top of this very sturdy ladder is the roof. <laughs> but on that roof, you will find it is, first of all, a fully walkable roof. Next, you will find three 310 watt solar panels. In addition to that, there is a roof rack as well as a very low profile AC. All right, now that we've seen the outside, let's go on in. Now the first thing you'll probably notice is the beautiful cabinetry and the luxury vinyl flooring, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise as that stands out across all new camp products. Next, my eyes go straight to the kitchen because Kendrick and I love to cook and this is one of the most important rooms. The new 920 has an induction stove, an electric oven, it's pretty big by the way, a large sink that has a nozzle that pulls out, and a custom drop-in cutting board so that you can use that space when you don't need the sink. And let's not ignore this spacious eight cubic foot, 12 volt compressor fridge, which by the way, has like a giant freezer too, which I just can't even imagine having that much space camping. All right, so in my intro, I mentioned that there's tons of storage and inside is no different. So right by the door is a giant wardrobe. And one of my favorite things is this slide out spice rack. I mean, what a great use of space that is. Then there's a drawer right here. It's shallow, but it's right by the door and I feel like it'd be perfect for shoes. Moving into the kitchen, 
It is just every inch filled with storage. You have tons of drawers, you have cabinets down here. Up above, you have incredibly large cabinets. And in this third one is your microwave. For even more storage under each of the dinette seats is probably the biggest cabinet I've ever seen. I feel like you could probably fit a small child in there. And last but not least with storage is in the bedroom. There is a second large wardrobe that you can actually hang clothes in. There are three different overhead cabinets. There's shelves. There's these huge bins right here next to the bed. There's more cabinets. Um, I mean, I just don't even know. So much storage. So while I'm here in the bedroom, let me tell you about it. This mattress is so comfortable. It sits atop the Froley sleep system, which if you've never felt, it just, it's like sleeping on a cloud. There's a large TV over here in the corner, which will swing out so that you can also watch it while you're in the kitchen. All of the windows have two screens. One screen allows airflow and the other screen is more of a blackout screen. Now, another cool thing in this unit is that Unlike before, in the truck campers, this skylight window never used to open. Well, now it does. So this window is also going to open. And another simple but helpful feature they've added is a privacy curtain. The dinette space is large and comfortable. You have a big table, plenty big enough to eat at. This area also folds down into a secondary bed. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, come to the bathroom. This is New Camp's only bathroom that is a dry bath, which means you can have an entire separate shower from the rest of the bathroom area. So this shower is plenty big. There's a skylight up at the top, which not only allows natural light to come in, but also taller people have a little extra head clearance. Um, and there's this door which uh, shuts and keeps the rest of the bathroom dry. The toilet is an actual porcelain toilet. There is a small sink in the corner and again, more storage. So there's two different cabinets for you to keep all of your bathroom essentials. And it's pretty awesome. I would poop here. A few other items that are gonna keep you super comfortable in this camper are the Aldi heating and endless hot water system. It is their model 3030 plus. And in addition is Truma's new Aventa air conditioning system. Benefits to this is that it's very, very quiet. It's very, very efficient and it's low profile, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. So you're gonna have a lower height and more headroom on the inside. Now let's talk specs. The new Cirrus 920 is 19 feet long. It is 106 inches wide, that's to the outside of the jacks. The exterior height is nine foot, two inches, and the interior height is six foot, six inches. So you can be tall and still stand in here. Tank capacities are 45 gallons fresh water, 35 gallons gray water, and 25 gallon black water. And all of that is gonna come to a dry weight of around 4,400 pounds. Now I know the two questions everyone's going to ask us, when can I get it and how much does it cost? Well, I don't have an exact answer for you on either of those. However, I can tell you it's going to go into production at the end of this year and you should start seeing it early 2024 um, out in dealerships. Now, as for a price, again, pretty hard for me to say exactly what you're going to find it for, but I would ballpark it at coming in just under 90000 for those of you thinking about buying a New Camp product, let me tell you this about New Camp. They stand behind their work and they've just started offering a seven year ultimate protection plan. Here's what it includes. Full coverage for seven years, covers components and workmanship, no deductibles, it's transferable with no fees, no early cancellation fee, nationwide coverage, and New Camp service center priority scheduling. And to me, that just says they stand behind their work. So here's to camping and luxury in a Cirrus 920. Love and light. All right. Okay. This.
and blah, 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 and that's not what you wrote at all. Should I start over, over? I'll start over, over. I'm going to start over, over. 